We always no love problem. that. <laughs> um, the band's uh, debut album, uh, Young Man's Blues, is a double album. What do you call it? Three and a half, four. Uh, how many how many sides do you want to call this exactly? Uh, three and a half is good. I like that. Uh huh. Yeah. Isn't that it, it, it's, that's a lot for a, for a first album for a band? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we really couldn't figure out you know what we were gonna put on the record, and I didn't want it to be too long. You know, I didn't want it to be like an hour long or something like that. I don't want to mess around with the grooves. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just kind of did our own thing and put something different out. So so what it consists it's of? Cost the same amount of money. So. Oh well. There you hey. go. <laughs> so what it is is uh, it's uh, one full side, and then you have the other side is is uh, is a full side, and 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 and. And then another full and side, and then you got like a real long single. Right. Long. Wh wh which song is that? The... Uh, it's uh, Beyond Babylon. Is there any reason why that one particularly was was mm -hmm. the long single version? No, that was the one we had the most fun messing around with uh, for a dance mix. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was fun. Now you guys recorded in uh, in, in Tennessee. Was yeah, Memphis, right? Memphis, Tennessee. Which which, which studios did you use? Uh, Arden Studios. Uh huh. Now uh, this is uh, well, it's home of the blues, right? That's it. Did this uh, affect the, uh, the the sound on the album at all? Well, you know, I mean, they must put something in the water there or something like that because uh, <laughs> I mean, you can really, you know, I mean, that's how I got it. It's, you just feel the blues there, and it's, it's uh, you know, if you're if you're getting off on that, that's that's how that's how you get it. You okay. Know? Going to Memphis. You got it. Hang with us for a little bit because we got more uh, coming your way on the Headbangers Ball. Right now it's time for uh, Bon Jovi's second version of their Bad Medicine. Bill's uh, here with me, Durango, right? Durango, that's it. It couldn't be deranged, though. Well, maybe. <laughs> I got it. Now, the, you did a, a cover of, uh, of an Otis Redding song uh, on the album. Yep. Any particular reason why, uh, why you did that? Mm, well, you know, uh, actually, I don't even know if it was supposed to be on a record. It was kind of a, it was kind of a one take deal. But, uh, I guess the only reason that we did it is more of an homage to, to Otis Redding than anything else. You know, I mean, he was a brilliant man. And of course, you know, when you go to Memphis, you can't miss the stacks yeah. the sound, so. And of course, that water will do it to you, right? That water will do it. <laughs> your, uh, your first, the video for uh, Deep Inside My Heart, uh, first release, why don't you tell us something about this? Well, uh, this video, we did it in uh, Sam Phillips' studio, which is uh, part of Sun, mm -hmm. and uh, they built that in the 60s. Everything was done there, except for uh, the one part where we wrecked the hotel room, that was done there. <laughs> nice little hotel. That was the real life stuff. Yeah, that was, you know, that was kind of happening. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was, it was just, it was, it was good because it was authentic, it was real, and we didn't have a lot of stuff getting in the way, so. Okay, well, why don't we take a look at it right now? All right. As promised, here it comes, a bit of that uh, Memphis sound, I guess we should call it. It's, yeah. it's the water that does it. Rock City Angels here with Deep Inside My Heart on the Headbangers Ball. Okay, fellas, let's try one uh, with that Memphis sound. Deep Inside My Heart, take one.
here. My name is Adam Curry. We're just talking about uh, the Headbangers Ball denim jacket. We have to get you your That's personal. That's right. You got to get me mine. And you'll I want mine. You'll wear it in the next video, right? That's right. <laughs> um, you, uh, uh, well, the band, I guess, credited a lot of uh, a lot of people on the album. One of them being uh, Sid Vicious on the Sex Pistols. Mm, yeah. Any particular reason? Well, uh, I guess uh, you know all the people credited in that part were all big influences you know there's also Mark Bowen and Ed, Eddie Cochran and uh, I guess basically uh, you know all those people really helped make our sound of course uh, you know we have a lot of sounds in the record and mm -hmm. uh, I think it really you know Sid Vicious I guess he brought out the, the punk aspect in us all and uh, let's face it I mean in real rock and roll you've always got that you know meanness I guess and Sid Vicious Helps out with bringing that out. Oh yeah, <laughs> helps out a lot. Um, how about uh, how about the road for Rock City Angels? Well, it looks like uh, we might be uh, hitting the road with Georgia Satellites real soon, so mm -hmm. that'll be real cool. And uh, didn't you guys open up for Jimmy Page? Yeah. How yeah. was that? It was great. It was great. We had ten dates with him, and uh, it was really good. It was a really good show. Uh, people seemed to really get off on it. So good. Well, we'll be looking forward to you uh, on the road, and uh, Thank when you're in the, in the neighborhood, drop by again. Of course, as always. And say hi to the guys for me. <laughs> All righty? No problem.